Hi. Things are getting exciting here on the farm. We're finally starting to harvest things that aren't rhubarb or asparagus. Um, so peas was one of the things we harvested this week. And I found the one pea to rule them all. It's twice as high as all the others. Um, this is also an imposter. It's not supposed to be here um, because this is a snow pea. And the pods are skinny and they're super fibrous. And we're supposed to be growing snap peas. Um, apparently they crossbreed really easily. So when we harvested here, um, Kate told me, well, watch for these snap peas and pull them out if you find them. So I'm going to yank this out um, once I'm done here. Um, assuming I'm confident in my ability to diagnose snow peas, but uh, I'm pretty sure about this one. One fun thing about pulling them out is that you get to see the roots. And I find it amazing that this tall a plant can be supported by this tiny little root structure. Um, Peas have really, really insubstantial roots, and I found um, one time I was picking a pea, and uh, I picked so hard that uh, the whole plant came out at the, at the bottom. It's just, it's really easy, so you gotta be fragile with them. I also wanna show you how to prune and trellis tomatoes, because that's one of the coolest things I learned this week. The point of pruning tomatoes is you want all of the plant's energy going into producing tomatoes and not stems. And um, these cherry tomatoes will just put off more and more and more stems. It'll, it'll turn into a big bush, which not only is it hard to harvest, but it doesn't produce as much fruit that way. So we're taking off um, growths that could potentially become new stems. Um, they're called suckers. Um, and I had to learn the difference between a sucker and a regular leaf branch. Um, can you see the difference? Um, I couldn't at first. Um, the key is that you're looking for new growth. Um, the new growth grows upwards and you get all these little um, premature leaves uh, in the bottom. So you go up the plant and everywhere there's a leaf node, um, you look and you see if there's a, a sucker and you take off, you just pinch off the sucker. It's pretty simple. Um, and then trellising them. Tomatoes are uh, a bit top heavy. Um, and so if you don't trellis them, they tend to fall over. Um, so we've got these nifty fishing line looking things hanging down from the ceiling. Um, and it's very simple. You just wrap the twine around the, the plant, making sure the twine is sort of on the underside of each branches. So you're not gonna tear the stem in half. And then you just tie a little slip knot. So it's just a little bit of tightness, um, keeps the plant upright without sort of pulling it up out of its roots. So that's tomato pruning. The other thing I did a lot of this week was weeding asparagus. Um, these nice, clean asparagus beds took us almost two days to clean them up and make them look so neat. Um, but that's not the interesting thing about asparagus. I want to show you how fast asparagus grows because I made this time lapse this week and I thought it was pretty cool. Um, this is about four hours of growth and I think they grew maybe two inches. Maybe that's exaggerating, but. They grow pretty fast, um, so we did two harvests down the rows this week, and uh, that's barely keeping up. So lots of asparagus. Anyway, um, for next week, I want to know, there's lots of things coming up here, so what do you want to see me harvest uh, next week? Um, I can include that in my video next week. So let me know in the comments uh, what you're interested in learning about. Um, you can follow me on YouTube uh, by subscribing. Uh, you can follow the project on Facebook at The Hands That Feed Us on Facebook. Um, I'm also on Instagram, and I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. Apparently, I need a mobile device. Um, or you can uh, find us on the website, uh, thehandsthatfeedus.ca. See you next week.